Hey everybody, this is Captain Kimo, and in this video I'm going to show you how I use Topaz Adjust to enhance my HDR images. Um, before I get started, I wanted to apologize for the sound quality because I am using my laptop on a very cheap headset. So with that said, let's get started. Okay, so before I do anything, I am going to apply Topaz Denoise to this image. So I'm going to go ahead and go into Filters, Topaz, Denoise, and we're going to use a simple preset for this one particular photo, and it's just JPEG Strong. I'm going to click that and let it denoise the image a little. So I'm going to do that and click OK. Now I use Topaz Denoise to polish up the image before I use Topaz Adjust because Topaz Adjust has the ability to sometimes create a very aggressive image so by denoising the image first it allows me to produce more polished look on my HDR images so once Topaz Denoise gets done denoising the image we'll go straight into Topaz Adjust and it is almost done so now it's done denoising the photo so what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and zoom in real fast just to see what it, it did and this is this will be the before and then this is the after you can see it just smoothed out the image just a little and that's enough to really create a very um, good looking image after I apply Topaz Adjust so I'm going to apply Topaz Adjust now I'm going to click the Control J or Command J on a Mac and duplicate the background layer here. Next we're going to go into the filters and go straight into Topaz Adjust. Alright so now that I have my Topaz Adjust window open we're going to go ahead and cover a few things on the user interface here. On this side here you see um, tabs here or collections of different uh, presets. This is the classic collection, this is the vibrant, this is the HDR collection, film, tone, stylized collection, the old Topaz Adjust presets is also listed here and we have my collection where we where I've saved a few of the uh, presets so on this side here is once you click uh, a set of collections here let me go ahead and just click this and go into one of the brilliant cold presets you'll have um, on this side here your settings that you the main settings that you want to use for Topaz Adjust the global adjustment is pretty much all the Topaz adjust um, settings that you'd want to use to create a very dynamic look. If I close clo global adjustments, you'll have local adjustments here. And I don't really use that, so I'm not going to cover this particular um, setting here. So I'm going to close that out. And finishing touches, I, I do use some of it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use warm and vignette later on here. So these are your your different settings that you can adjust here in Topaz Adjust. And so we're going to get started um, applying Topaz and playing around with the settings to see how we can produce a much more um, dynamic HDR image. And we're going to start by just using going to Classic Collection and I am going to use, start with the uh, Brilliant Warm uh, preset. Um, this is kind of what I, uh, Brilliant Warm is the preset I usually start off with most of my HDR photos so we'll start with that one and then next I am going to just click on the global adjustment and pull down the adaptive exposure menu and that's where I will start playing around with the setting and I'm going to want to play around with contrast first I'm going to pull it down a little bit and a lot of my HDR images I like to pull down the contrast and this kind of flattens out the image a little bit for my HDR photos and I do this just kind of give it more um, more color and then I will play with adaptive exposure after bringing the contrast down I will play with it to see kind of where I want the uh, the image to come in at with this particular setting and I like it right about there so I'll leave it there region I'll leave that alone and with uh, brightness I will bring it down just a little bit a hair here uh, if you bring it out too much it, it seems to really affect the image so if I bring it down right around there you see how it just it really darkens up the image so I'll just bring it back up here real fast and leave it right about there now protective highlight I will adjust that to kind of bring back some of the colors in the highlight area so we'll, we'll bring that all the way up here shadows is 
is we'll bring out the details in the shadows if you uh, if you use that so we'll bring that up a little bit also okay so that's it for the uh, adaptive exposure so I'm gonna close that and then I'll bring in the detail and this will bring in some details into the photo so I'm just gonna ahead and actually we're going to go ahead and use the one-on-one uh, -on -one here which will zoom in on the photos and on the photo and over here is a little navigator so we can just pull around and see which area you know what Topaz adjusted to that area so I'm just gonna go ahead and write drop it right down here in the center and we will pull up the strength a little bit and you can see that it's it's giving some detail there and I'm going to do a detail boost so I'm gonna bring detail boost up a tad now I don't go too crazy with this but just enough just to give it a little more clarity threshold I will leave alone radius I will also leave alone and sharpen I might want to bring that up a little bit but not a lot just like with the other uh, the other settings there and that looks pretty good so here's the before and here's the after there so let's go ahead and close detail out and next we'll go into color and color is where we get all that vibrant rich colors and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the fit button to kind of bring back so we can get a better view of the whole photo and then we're going to play with adaptive saturation and bring that up and bring the colors up there we're going to leave color regions alone for this particular photo and now we're going to boost the saturation here in our image and then we're going to boost the uh, saturation boost here we're going to just bring it up a tad bit and with hue I'm going to just bring it a little bit to the right here just to brighten up the warm tones here so uh, I'm done with uh, this, the color settings, and I'm going to go down. And we're done with the global adjustment. We're almost actually done with Topaz Adjust. And I'm going to go into finishing touches. And I'm going to adjust that warm setting because I want it to be a little warm. Right now it's very cool right around here. So I'm going to warm up the whole image a little bit by bringing, bringing the tones up. And, and you can see it's starting to look very nice here. So there's the before and here's the after and then I will close the warm setting here and go into vignette just to kinda give a little vignette into the photo just to give the draw the eye a little bit more into the center of the image but not too much I don't want it too dark there and then we can adjust the size of the vignette you can see here that's the size of the vignette and then that will be the transition of the dark vignette from the edges and the curve of the vignette so that looks good I'm going to maybe pull the strength down a little bit here and then if I want to see the effect so I just click here this is the um, before vignette and this is the after the vignette so that looks that looks very good I like it the way it is there so we can see here that's before and that's after and once I like the image after adjusting the settings I'll just click OK and that's it for Topaz Adjust and this is how I um, use Topaz Adjust to create a more dynamic HDR image so right now you see the uh, the after so let's go back here so this is the before and this is the after okay so I know this is a little intense but I really wanted to show you what Topaz Adjust could do with an HDR image so I am done here I hope you um, we're able to get something out of this video. Um, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and look forward to more videos on Topaz products from Captain Kimo in the future. So until next time, this is Captain Kimo signing out.